Hi there. In this video, we're going to be showcasing some new features in QImage Ultimate 2026.109 that make creating greeting cards even easier. I have some images here that were just created by AI that I'm going to use for my greeting cards. So to start out, we're going to make sure that our printer, media type, and our media size are correct because those are all important for creating greeting cards, especially the size. We want to get the size correct up front. So for our media size, I'm going to drop this down and select user defined here and enter 6.25 by 9 because a common greeting card for single fold landscape cards, common size would be six and a quarter by four and a half. So when you fold it in half, that'll give you the correct size. So now that I've got the right media size selected, I'm going to just start out by picking the image that I want on the outside of my card. So I like this one right here for the outside of my card. And then I'll go over to sizes and click on more sizes and then click specify one dimension, check the border option, and we're going to go with half page. So that's going to give us an eighth of an inch border because that's what I've entered here on a half page. Just click OK. So now that gave us the correct size and to place it, we just want to go into the full page editor here where we have more tools. So click here and then with this print selected, which it is, I can tell that by the blue border, I'll go over here and click on this button here that says center and bottom half. So that'll center it in the bottom half of the page. And you notice that it'll show you the boundary for that half a page if you just hold your mouse over this button. And you can see that looks really nice. It gives me a nice white border, eighth of an inch all around. And when I fold it, it'll look like the area inside that dashed line there. If I want to lock in that line so that I can see it and work with it, I can right click here and then I can come over here and move this around and uh, view what it would look like on that half page so I can get an idea of centering. Uh, so I'll right click again to remove that. Uh, you don't have to, but we're done at this point. That That's all you have to do. Uh, click done in there, and now we can print this, and this will look perfect when you fold the page in half. Now, let's say we want to get a little bit more fancy. We want the inside of the card to have a background. So I've created some backgrounds here, too, and I'll take this one. And remember, we already chose our size. We, we've sized it already for a half page. So all we got to do is click the plus button on our background. And again, you can see that it puts it in the center of the page just because that's the placement method that we're in. So we want to, again, go into the full page editor and click this center and bottom half of the page button. And that'll center that in the bottom half of the page. And I might even want to, uh, let's choose this, click on the color here next to the first border, choose color, black, and we'll choose like 0.04 inches, and that'll give us a nice black stroke around this, so that if we hold our mouse over this again, that's what it's going to look like. It'll have a little black border around it. I think that looks nice. And on the inside here, we might even want to put some text. So let's click on this floating text option right here, click, and then select the location for the text, like somewhere around here. And I've already typed holiday greetings in here to save time. Uh, you can choose different colors here in the center and click OK. And that will give you some text here. And I might want to move it up a little bit. And again, if you want to see what this is going to look like, come over here and right click on this and that'll show you what that half page, what you're working with here. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So now we're done with that. And now we have a page two that holds our inner part of the card and a page one that holds the outer part. Now, if you think about this, when you fold this, you want the inner part to print on the other side of this piece of paper up here on the back. So in order to do that, all we have to do is go to this page one and click this little print button here, not, not the main print button, but click the little print button here, which is print current page only. It will print that page. And once it's done printing, we'll just go to page two by clicking the next page button here. And then we'll feed that same piece of paper back into the printer, flipped over 
and rotate it 180 degrees. And then we'll click this button again and print this on the back. And then once you do that, you get a nice greeting card with front and back. And you've given yourself enough space here with this text so that you can do a nice handwritten message in here. And your card's all set up and ready to go. Now at this point, I should point out, use the power of QImage. Things like this, even though this was so easy to do, you might not want to have to set this up again. If you're going to do this multiple times, just come down here and click this button and then do Save Current as Custom Layout. And then I'm going to choose, just overwrite this zero card. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but I'll overwrite that. And I'll say, yes, I want to start using it. So now I have a, a layout here. And wherever I am in QImage, I can be on a different printer. Let me just show you that. I'll choose uh, center again and then remove everything. The point is here, I'm, I'm messing everything up. I'm going to go to a different printer that gives me a different paper size. So, okay, now I've come back into QImage a different day and I want to do another card. So all I've got to do is come down here to this same button, this placement button, click and do load custom layout and go to the file that I saved, open. And now this layout is ready, but you see it has blank templates in place of where you would have had the front and the inside of the card. But when you come over here to do this and add new card styles here, let's say this time I want to use a more a brighter image here. I want to use this one. So all I got to do is click the plus on this and it goes into the first slot and I'll use the green background here. Click plus on that and it goes into the second slot. If we go to page two, we'll see that that, that ended up in here. So now we have a new card ready to print. We can just do our thing, go back to page one, print it, print that page only, you know, flip the paper over, turn it 180 degrees, feed it back in there and then print this. And then we've got this for a holiday card this time. And let me show you one other thing here. Even, even if it's not a layout, even if you've just created this and you're not even working with a layout, you can always replace images. If you decide you don't want a realistic looking image here, you want this, this more uh, drawing style image. Just hold the alt key down because you want an alt, you want an alternate image to go in here. Hold the Alt key down and drag and drop it on top of this image and it'll replace it like this. You want a, a little bit darker night scene, just hold the Alt key, drag and drop and it replaces the image. That's a really quick way. Uh, on this one, if you don't like that green background, you want a more neutral one, we'll select the neutral, Alt, drag and drop. So those are some quick ways to create greeting cards, save layouts for cards so that you can use them. And even if, let's say I have this night scene with a, a neutral background. Okay, I want a second card that is this. So I'll just add it and then add this green inside. So now I've got two cards here. I have on the first page, I've got, this is the outside of my first card and the inside. This is the outside of my second card and the inside. So I've got two cards here and you might think, how would I print that? It's going to take a long time if I had like six of these in here and they're different types of cards. Well, you can do that up here with edit preferences, print and page formatting and go over to collate pages and then say prompt for odd even pages and then you can use the main print button and it'll ask you if you want odd or even pages you can print all the odd pages first which would be one three five and seven obviously and then you can go back and print you know load the pages back in there flipped over rotate it 180 degrees and then print the even ones on the backs in the same order so lots of ways you can do this a lot a lot of different features here that are available to help you out. And, you know, there's, there's quarter sizing here. If, if we wanted to 
go to here and pick quarter size. You can do double fold, two fold cards, and you can center on quadrants. If we go back in here, you can see that we can, let's go back to this one here. Let me use this one as an example. Um, you can take this, let's make it a lot smaller. I'll just drag it and make it really small. And now I'll say, center it in the upper left quadrant. So now you're centered in this area here. And let's see, this would be the inside of the card. And because this is the inside of the card, it would need to be upside down. So we can rotate right here, the print like this. And we can maybe take it and move it. I'll take this and select the print and then hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys. And that moves it an eighth of an inch at a time. And again, if you want to lock in this boundary so you can see it, right click on the button. And that, that's locked in the boundary now. And I can move it up. I can take and create some floating text and put my floating text in here. But this time I want to rotate it 180 degrees because again, this all has to be upside down uh, because it's a double fold card. You'll know what I mean if you've created cards before. Uh, and then you can take this and center it, or you can, you know, go up a little bit with it and give yourself some room to write something in here. And again, you could save this as a layout. Obviously, you're going to, you're going to take another image and put it down here, right side up for the front. Uh, like take another one of these or some other photo, photo of your family or something like that and put it in here. And then once it's in here, you're going to center it in the lower right quadrant. So let me unlock this by right clicking and then show you that's the lower, lower right quadrant. So you would center it in there, right side up. And then once you fold twice, you've got an outside of the card here and an inside of the card here. And these, because it's double fold, this is printing all on the same side of the paper. You don't have to double feed these. So anyway, just a lot of tips there on creating greeting cards, really easy methods to center in half of the page, quadrants of the page, and so on. Hope this helps with your greeting cards and happy holidays. Thanks for watching.